ClassicGameRoom.com Welcome to Classic Game Room for a very exciting review because this is the first PAL game reviewed on the show. It's Cruisin' World for the N64, the PAL version. Oh god, that music is dreadful. Cruisin' on my six foe sent to the show by our PAL, Mark from Bremen, Germany. This is the German version of Cruisin' World, which is uh, pretty much the same as the American version, except the instruction manual is in German. Set, go. And the nice lady waving the flag is Canadian. The video standard is PAL, which is the European video standard, American, Japanese, and many other countries use NTSC. What does that mean to you, the viewer? Absolutely nothing, because I broke the signal and now I can enjoy cruising world on the PAL N64 that Mark also sent to the show. Anyway, let's move beyond the video format and talk about the game here because people all over the world can enjoy Cruisin' World. It's a really fun arcade driving game from Midway. Probably best known for the arcade version, I think the N64 version is excellent. While I'm not typically a huge fan of the N64 visual style, it's a good game system for 90s racing games because it runs them smoothly. Checkpoint. Something that's kind of important for driving games. Like this one, as you can see the gameplay is just silky smooth. Except for the times I'm crashing into things, which is going to happen a lot, it's a silly, over-the-top, out-of-control, wacky arcade racing game. Let's name our character... After Applied Science Saturdays, always a great day for Cruisin' World. In fact, every day's a great day for science and Cruisin' World. There's a bunch of different cruising games out there, like Cruisin' USA. This one is one of my favorites because you get a lot of tracks and a lot of cards. Also, the tracks, each of which represent a different country on the planet Earth, are a lot of fun to drive on and do a great job stereotyping each nation. Although, once again, they've left out Antarctica, insulting the indigenous Antarctic people who are penguins and polar bears that speak Australian. Now here's a track that clearly represents the United States because as all Americans know, our roads look exactly like this. They can't spend five bucks to fix a pothole, but they'll build it underwater. This is actually more of a simulation racing game. What you really play it for is the realism. No, you don't. I'm just being silly. You play it because it's ridiculous and fun with a wide variety of silly vehicles like this one that drive really fast and corner remarkably well. There's several gameplay modes, including a championship mode, world tour, and even two to four player split screen. Conserve your turbo boosts and try not to run into things. It slows you down. You can even pull off some silly stunts with your vehicles, jump over other cars. This game provides hours of fun and will cost you next to nothing these days. It even plays pretty well with the dreadful N64 controller. Just watch out for oversteer. You know, I don't recall the Toyota Supra having that kind of window on the back. It's as if they don't have licensed vehicles in this game, like the Dodge Viper, which they clearly don't. Was that an elephant sound in the German level? Are there elephants in Germany that, that aren't in zoos? Just roaming the streets, drinking beer? My favorite elephants. No Dodge Vipers here. Nope, none to be found. Unless you generally dislike driving games or hate fun, there's no way you can not have a good time playing Cruisin' World. So thanks again to Mark from Germany for sending this and the compatible N64. Cruisin' World is a must-have affordable game for your N64. 
64 collection.